impressed us here at Auto Express. It lapped the Landau circuit in Wales in a pretty impressive 43.7 seconds, but that had Steve Sutcliffe at the wheel. Now though, we wanted to see how far off Sutcliffe's time a normal driver could be. And that's me. And to add an extra element to the challenge, how close could I get to my NSX time in a Honda Civic Type R after some expert tuition from Sutcliffe himself? Strap in and stay tuned because this is a good one. But first, let's remind ourselves of the numbers. The NSX has a twin-turbocharged 3.5-litre V6 in the middle of the car. Between the engine and the 9-speed gearbox, there's a 47-brake horsepower electric motor and two further electric motors at the front for each wheel. Combined power has 576 bhp, but it's heavy though, tipping the scales at 1,776 kilograms. So then, Sutcliffe set a time of 43.7 seconds. What could I manage? I thought it was going to be. And they're firing down the back straight. Well over 110 miles an hour. Hard on the brakes. Oh, God. Goodness me. Everything that was in my stomach is now in my mouth. And they're just firing out of here. Oh, gosh. Double the brakes, turn it in, and fire it out the back straight. Goodness me, this is quick. Hard, very hard on the brakes. Oh, my word. Keep it neat and tidy, and then fire it out. That was quick, it felt really quick. Really quick. The question is, can I make a Honda Type R as fast as that? Well, it's gonna be tricky, but I have got Steve Sutcliffe giving me some extra expert tutorage, so I think it'll be all right. So my time was 46.6, just three seconds slower than Sutcliffe. Not too bad, I thought. Next, I strapped into the outgoing Civic Type R, a car that we love here at Auto Express. The 306 bhp front-wheel drive hot hatch is a classic in the making, and I set a pretty average time of 47.8 seconds, 1.2 seconds off my NSX time, but only after I'd explored track limits. Could Sutcliffe help me shave off that time? Right, okay, so I've got to sort of get close to my NSX time, and you think that with a bit of tuition I'm going to do that. I'm a little bit sceptical, I have to say, because I think I've got to the, the, the extent of my ability that I can't go any quicker. Well, all right. Are there any areas? We've got to get about one, you're 1 1.4, one, one and a half seconds off your NSX, yeah. time, aren't you, in this? So we've got to gain one and a half seconds from somewhere, which is yes. quite a lot to gain around this tiny little sort Oh, God, bird! Oh, <laughs> <got birds. laughs> <laughs> That's a good that, start. That was, that, was that a raven? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It was I, a big black bird. Is that supposed to be good luck? <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> Breaking into this chicane, yes. I need to uh, possibly break later. And I think some of the corners, just before we come out onto the straight, I could probably be relying a little bit more on the um, on the dip at the front and powering through the corner a bit more. Really? The lap time around this tiny little short bit is it's, the main bit where you're losing time isn't actually in the quick stuff, although it feels like it. Yeah. It's in the slow stuff. In the slow stuff. Because if you think about it, you're, you're going that much slower through the slow stuff. So if you get the slow stuff wrong, 
you lose much more time. Yeah. So being a hero out of this corner, yeah. you might think, oh, I've done that perfectly, and I've gained, I've gained several tenths. You won't. You might gain a tenth by doing this corner. Bang on it. But if you muck up this slow bit up here, you'll lose. You could lose a second with this slow bit up here. So right. okay. I want to see where you break into here. Yeah. You could definitely break later into there. A monster this curve gets. That's it. So it's understeer there. Yeah. You need, again, you need to use the diff there. So you need to keep. You need to modulate the throttle, but you need to keep the diff lit because okay. right. that's what will ultimately kill the understeer. Break. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's about as late as so I think we should be breaking into it. Well, you need you need to break like that <laughs> into, into the into the next bit, into the it's next slow bit. Saved it though, it's all right. All right, don't break till I say break. Right, you haven't sworn yet. I must be not doing a good job. Break. Oh my See, god! We still made it. That was perfect. Just, right, yes. keep your toe in because this is a good lap so far. Oh, oh, nice, nice little curve nudging. Oh. This is good, this is good, this is very good. Toe in. Right. It's all out now. That out. Right, we've got 1.2 tenths right so far. We're almost there. We need two tenths. Oh, oh the we back need... end's all over the place. Yeah, but that's because you're starting to put some heat into the ring. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mikey, oh. me! It's good, it's good. Trust me, don't break until I say break. Right. Break. Oh. Oh, oh fudge. Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> it worked though. Yes. Did, we, did we not and stop for that corner? how much was I through there I know. as well? Oh, I turned into third. What have I done? No, no, it's good, it's good. It's got the torque, it's got the torque. As long as you commit through here. Right on this car is amazing, it isn't really, it? really, really light it up. Yeah. You're the more aggressive you are, the better. Break, please. <laughs> Break. Ah! <laughs> oh, can we stop now, please? We're going to end, end up at the one, end of Wales, then, won't we? 1.3 tenths. 1.3 tenths. We have gained. We've gained 1.3 tenths. You're a tenth of the time you did at the NSX. A tenth? One tenth. And I'd like to get out now, please, if that's all right. <sighs> Need to open up window. <laughs> one tenth of your NSX time. One tenth. So let's just let that sink in a minute. One tenth of a uh, hundred and forty odd thousand pound 